Well, here's my little protein source, 20% protein, give or take, from mixed greens, uh, mustard, dwarf, SX rape, uh, turnips, daikon radish, uh, there's probably some beets, there is buckwheat, there's a couple lettuces that overwintered from last year, and there's white corn in there, and it, it, it will come up around and above this stuff. I... I thin out around it to make sure the corn comes up, but that'll be the second stage. Right now, this is just the brassica stage. There's some Austrian winter pea, a little bit of clover. It didn't didn't establish too well. Anyway, so every day, I'm on my way to go bring water to the pigs. I just, I rip in rows. You can kind of see some loose rows in there. I plant it so that it comes up, so that when the sprouts come up, it looks like a wire brush where there's absolutely no way all of it could survive. It's overcrowded, extreme density. As the stand establishes, I just pull out, you know, thin. You can see that right here. Well, I don't give them a bunch. I've never seen them have any issues with bloat. There you go, guys. But it is a possibility to keep in mind. So that's breakfast. They'll get, they'll get a corn and grain feed mix, but not much and only once a day. Most of the day, anytime they start making noise, it means I'm hungry. And that's just my sign to walk over and do a little thinning and check the water and go back to what I'm doing. You know, when you're a homesteader, you're home. That's the point. You're working at home. So you're working every day and you're never very far from your animals.